So at Vox, we've been building valve amps since the very late 50s, and generally what we've looked at doing is improving the amplifier in the other areas because vacuum tubes have proved to be unsurpassable in terms of audio quality, and applying them to audio circuits usually yields something far more stimulating and sonically pleasing than solid state alternatives. My name is Philip Scarf. I'm one of the development engineers from Vox Amplification, based in Milton Keynes in the UK. So we're really excited about new tube. The basic objective being, how do we make a vacuum tube that improves upon the currently available vacuum tube models? How do we make something that has the same characteristics and the same sonic benefits that a vacuum tube gives us, but hopefully remove a lot of the downsides and the awkward and troublesome design criteria that comes along with working with the, this old technology. What we have is the first breakthrough in tube technology in decades. It's giving us at Vox the opportunity to design products which no one has been able to design in this way before. Because new tube offers a designer and ultimately the end user all the benefits and qualities that traditional vacuum tubes have. But due to the kind of revolutionary design, we've managed to improve the energy consumption, its reliability and longevity. We've managed to reduce its size. These things combined together mean that all of a sudden the limitations that we had on traditional guitar amps are now being thrown out the window. This means that we can now create an all tube, all analog signal path and maintain the highest level of uh, audio quality and feature a vacuum tube at the very heart of our designs and put them into products that we've not been able to before.